We are recently home from CES 2019 in Las Vegas, where it was the year of smart tech and submersible drones. Join us for a quick look at most all of the drones we put hands on at the show. A concept police bike started things off. The Dubai police force have some fun times ahead of them. Unique was at the show. They brought the Typhoon H+, the Mantis Q, and an updated H520 commercial drone with RTK. Power Vision and Autel Robotics were at the show, but had no new tech that we could see. Sue Blue is stepping up their game in the submersible and underwater transportation game. These underwater vehicles can take your next underwater incursion to new depths. No air included. Winner of our award for the best drone accessory of CES 2019, the Fluidity FT Aviator is a one-handed joystick remote control for your DJI drones. With no instruction and a little effort, we were successfully piling a number of drones in the attached simulator. We've placed our order. Stay tuned for in-depth coverage as we put this new remote control to the test. Back to submersibles, the Navitex Mido underwater drone spent some time in the dunk tank. Don't mind these few interspersed fun things we saw, like this EWAT aerospace fixed wing and the transformer you'll see in a few minutes. Robo C had one of the larger floor spaces for underwater drones, showing off the cute little beaky drone, their human propelling sea flyer swimmer, a couple other submersibles, and the star of the show, Robo Shark. At nearly six feet long, this is a professional machine for some serious marine tasks. We spent a good amount of time visiting our friends at Uvify, and for good reason. For starters, they take home our award for the best commercial drone of CES 2019. The new Uvify IFO, that's IFO for Identified Flying Object, is more than just a well-built, precision-focused, long-lasting drone. It's the basis for you to go into the drone entertainment business. Their program puts multiple EFO drones in your care, then you go out and compete with Intel for small or large scale drone light shows. So much fun. We probably do not have to name the next stop on our list. DJI is the biggest name in drones, and their booth was one of the busiest on the show floor. As usual, they had on display all of their best machines, the Inspire 2, Mavic 2 Pro, Mavic 2 Zoom, Phantom 4 Pro version 2.0, their camera rigs in the Ronin line, and the new Osmo Pocket. This tiny camera was a hit at the show, with many people walking around the show floor taking stabilized video on the move. Also at the booth were the Spark, DJI Goggles, and the Rise Tello, showing off the new EDU education version to help children learn to code. The highlight of the show from DJI is the new DJI Smart Controller. This is the control for our Mavic drones that we've been waiting for. A built-in display eases the connectivity concerns in the field, HDMI out, a microSD card slot, and more add a ton of options not previously available. Otherwise, the display is super bright for outdoor sorties, the joysticks store on the back, and the antenna fold down for safe and compact transport. Ping pong with a robot, anyone? X Dynamics was flying around their booth with the Evolve quadcopter. The drone looks like a futuristic flying race car and appears to pack all the right parts to be a solid competitor in the camera drone market. We have more research to do on this drone and company, but we like what we are seeing so far. We now have to admit, our award for the best submersible drone of CES 2019 goes to a drone that can be submersed, but is still made for the sky. The Swell Pro Spry is an industrial-looking quadcopter that is entirely waterproof. 
take the protected 4K camera into the sky or float on the surface of the water with the camera submerged to capture a snorkeler's eye view. A nice consumer-friendly version of the larger and more capable Splash Drone 3. A diverse drone brand that gets little attention, AEE builds machines in various form factors for law enforcement, search and rescue, smaller selfie drones like the Air Selfie and folding phone case Selffly, as well as a new AI-driven machine that can withstand high winds and autonomously map a given area. They also offer some action cameras, fixed-wing craft, and more. Hey, look! That transformer! Back over to the UVFI booth for another award. The Draco 4x4 takes home the best racing drone of CES 2019. This project was birthed from putting super long propeller arms in the highly modular Draco drone. Load those long arms up with extra motors, 16 in total, and some LED lights, and it's not hard to see why the DR1 Racing League signed on for a full racing series this coming race season. As thrilling as it is terrifying to be close to while it's flying, you'll see this drone at a racetrack near you soon. Congrats on your fun project, Andrew, and Uvify. Need an industrial sprayer, but don't want the DJI MG-1S? Sano Chip has a machine for you. Heading over to GDU, we were pleased to see two new drones on the show floor. The new GDU Saga is a folding commercial drone, a rethink of the older bird design, now with a variety of payloads. That includes their in-house infrared camera, a 10x optical zoom camera, a loudspeaker, a gas detector for disaster relief efforts, a hefty spotlight, a standard 4K shooter, and a powerful 30x optical zoom camera. Did we mention their in-house infrared camera? They're quite proud of it. Next is the update some of us have been waiting for, the GDU-02+. Plus. A few tweaks to the camera gimbal should help stabilization, and RC connectivity will drastically improve range and reliability. Last, and by no means least on the list, the folks at Bell had a super cool passenger drone to look at. This glassy beast seats four and looks far too futuristic to be real, doesn't it? That wraps up our time at CES 2019. We wish we could show you all of the drones that were on the show floor, but these few were the best of the best. Please tap that thumbs up if you like what you see here. Go ahead and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out. Thanks again all. Fly safe.